Well, the idea of playing music for nursing home residents, it's not terribly new during this pandemic. All kinds of musicians decided to set up shop in front of nursing homes and play into those open windows and balconies. Those performances have become especially important now as we continue into the second wave of the pandemic. Toronto musicians Anat Krieger and her father are taking their performances to the next level. They're complete with amplifiers and dressy outfits, and they're really capturing the attention of not just the nursing home residents, but of people passing by on the street as well. Anat Krieger is a singer and actress here in the city. Anat, good afternoon. Tell me how this happened. You and your dad started playing in front of long-term care homes in Toronto. Yeah, um, so my dad uh, has started his company called Musical Retirement, and he basically uh, started performing in nursing homes way before the pandemic. And then COVID happened, and uh, he tried to be creative, and he thought, um, oh my God, I can just uh, perform outside of the building without um, actually being around uh, the residents. And uh, our first show was in April, we, when it all started. Um, we started to perform outside of the building, um, and people loved it. Um, so we continued doing so, and then ever since then, we saw lots of other musicians doing the same, which is uh, very nice to see, you know, uh, such a nice gesture to do in this very difficult time. Tell me about your production. It's a little um, more elaborate than just singing a song. Describe the whole production for me. Yeah, um, so we come uh, with all the equipment as we would come, you know, for a show um, with a speaker and a microphone, everything we need. Uh, my dad is a saxophone player and I am a singer. And uh, we basically start a full-on show as we would uh, do in a you know, um, regular time. And um, we, we just collect uh, the, the music uh, the residents love and, and are familiar with. Um, and we, we, we're, we're starting to, to sing with them, to play for them songs, and we always, um, they're engaged in the whole show. So they're basically singing with us, they're dancing with us, so it's not just them watching us. and. Uh, not doing anything. I always tell them they are part of the show, just as we are, um, because mm. it is important for us, um, for them to be engaged as well. So uh, you know they could feel they're part of something. I imagine that's a challenge to try to engage with that audience when they're, you know, quite far away, up on balconies or even listening from behind glass through their windows. How do you make that connection? Yeah, it is very challenging, and the first couple of times were very strange for us because we're used to being um, so uh, close to them because before COVID, uh, we would uh, perform inside of the retirement home in a small room, and we would, you know, uh, walk around, uh, we would have eye contact, and it was uh, way different than what it is right now. Um, but even though it is challenging, we... Somehow we can still feel them, and um, although we don't see their uh, face reactions, um, we can see them uh, dancing from the balconies or waving their hands from uh, from the windows. Um, mm -hmm. So it is something uh, you can feel, and we always tell them at the beginning that we can't hear them um, because you know some buildings are so tall and uh, you can't hear the person who is in the you know 12th floor. Um, but we always tell them that we can see them, so we always make, make them to, to work even harder <laughs> with their body and basically uh, dance and show us uh, that they are engaged in that. I love it. What, what are the songs? I know that you're trying to play the music that, the, that they like. Tell me about your set list. What are the favorites for the folks in these yeah, retirement Yeah, the favorites homes? are probably Hallelujah and um, My Way, and we always also bring international music. I'm from Israel, and my dad is from Russia, and uh, we perform in many international retirement homes, so uh, lots of uh, Italian songs and Arabic songs, and we're trying to bring, you know, uh, multicultures um, to 
to these kinds of uh, places, and people love that. Um, so it's very inspiring, you know, to see um, a group of people singing like different songs from different cultures and just having a, a good time during this, you know, um, very difficult time for everyone. What happens, I hate to be a wet blanket here, but I'm trying to imagine your dad playing the saxophone, you know, in January in this city. What happens in a few months if, when it gets perhaps too cold to play outdoors? Yeah, this is exactly what we're working on right now uh, because it is uh, quite challenging to play um, outdoors. Uh, even in April, it was quite hard because there were a few days of uh, snow. <laughs> So it was not easy at all. Um, right now we're trying to, to be creative um, and think what we can do. And I'm sure we'll come up with a, with a new idea, you know. Mm -hmm. How does it feel for you? I know that you are a singer. You typically be performing in all different kinds of shows and in musicals. How important has it been for you to be able to make music and connect with people who really need it right now? Yeah, it is very important for me. It is my purpose in life. So, um, you know, for me, waking up in the morning and not, and knowing that I don't have a place to perform is something that um, I just can't accept. So even though um, COVID-19 happens and, uh, of course, affecting our lives, um, me and my dad, we're trying to be as creative as we can. So if it means to perform outdoors or doing uh, lives on Instagram or Facebook just to, you know, to create something, um, anything, anything counts, I would say. So uh, as long as we're making art. Well, it's great to hear a little bit about the work that you're doing. Thanks so much for telling me today, Anat. Thank you. Thank you so much. Anat Krieger is a singer and a performer living in Toronto, and here's a little taste of one of her most popular tunes.